uh, a gynecologist with a special interest in reproductive medicine and fetal medicine uh, there is a, a girl in front of me she had a uh, problem with first pregnancy and uh, she unfortunately she had a preterm stillbirth even with cesarean section am i correct and what was the reason? Reason but that was a severe hypertension, very high blood pressure. So it is called with, you had a urine albumin positive also. So she is a particular case of severe preeclampsia and because of that complication, the baby died. Very unfortunate part is still. But she had undergone for some, this reason you've undergone some test. So what is your... What are you asking me? I'm asking for why this uh, torch test is necessary. There is a test being done because she had a because you had a loss. That's why you have been asked to go for a torch test. Okay. But why these all are positive? I, I am not understanding why this range is coming so high compared of this. So she is asking me. I am just asking you. Do you know what is torch? Torch is a acronym that is T O R C H. T O in toxoplasma. R is rubella. C is cytomegalovirus. And H is herpes. What are these? These are microbes. Microbes means they create infection. They create infection. Infection to mother, then this infection goes to mother to baby. So this infection first occurs in mother, then mother passes this infection to baby and then baby infected and then there might be some problem. Whenever there is a fresh infection of any of these, body reacts when body reacts to kill this organism you create a protein inside the body these protein are called immunoglobulin okay immunoglobulin there are multiple type five mostly five types of immunoglobulin i'm not going into that detail the first immunoglobulin comes in picture to kill this is called immunoglobulin M. So if you are suffering and you have high level of IgM, then you are recently infected. That infection is going on. When this happens and infection is killed, the body makes a memory cell of this infected part infection part or the organism to keep in their almari. Okay. Now, if suppose mm -hmm. you are infected again, mm -hmm. so you have a memory to kill this. Yeah. Okay. This memory is created by another immunoglobulin protein that is called IgG. Mm -hmm. So, what is this? IgG. IgG, IgG yes. So, if you have high amount of IgG, that means? Then again it will come. No, you had an infection earlier. earlier. When, when I was pregnant? Then no, any time before. Okay. You don't know when. Oh. But at present, when I get your test done, mm -hmm. you are positive with immunoglobulin G. That means you are protected from these infections and if somebody comes again, you have an armamentarium to kill them immediately. Okay. So these are good or bad? These yeah. are good. Okay. So if you have any infection in your body, mm -hmm. any time in your life, mm -hmm. if you get this test done and you find IgG in a high level, okay. so high IgG level is it good or bad? Yes. It is good. Okay. So it will not affect in my next pregnancy? Yes, because you are already infected. protected. Protected. Okay. infected, finished. finished. Now you are protected. Okay. So when there is a recent infection, when baby can be affected, hmm. the mother will have what type of protein? IgM. 
आई जी एम वेरी गुड एंड इफ आई डू आई जी एम आई गेट देन वॉट आई डू नाउ इट इज आई डू अ फीटल इन्फेक्शन और बेबीज इन्फेक्शन हुआ है कि नहीं उसको पक्का करना वाई हाउ बाई एमनियोसेंटिस विथ एमनियोसेंटिस आई विल गेट द फीटल सेल्स बेबी सेल्स इन साइड द वोम एंड देन डू ए डी एन ए टेस्ट ऑफ दीज वायरसेस इफ दे आर पॉजिटिव देन आई कैन से इट इज देयर it is not by these proteins it is by directly identifying the dna of the the person or the uh, the, uh, the thing which is attacking you or the baby okay. if it is negative hmm. then even though the mother is infected by any of these hmm. with igm hmm. and baby is negative in amniocentesis then baby is safe okay. even a wife is the lady is infected with igm and it doesn't mean that baby will be always affected mm -hmm. second if you are affected any time in your life mm -hmm. then you are immunized means aapko polio ka teeka lag gaya dpt ka teeka lag gaya ab zindagi mein nahi hoga ha to yadi aapke pas mein igg hai to aapko ye zindagi mein hoga to aapko kabhi ye dobara karane ki zarurat hai karana padega nahi nahi karana padega to touch the test karana chahiye नहीं इट क्रिएट मोर कंफ्यूजन बट ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी इफ यू हैव फीवर इफ यू सस्पेक्ट दैट यू माइट बी हैविंग सम इन्फेक्शन देन यू कैन डू अ टॉर्च टेस्ट फॉर द प्रेजेंट प्रेगनेंसी नॉट फॉर द पास्ट प्रेगनेंसी और एबॉर्शन इफ आई जी जी कम्स पॉजिटिव फॉर एनी ऑफ दिस मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम ऑल इन्फेक्शन विल नॉट अटैक यू आइदर वन ऑफ इट यदि वैसा होता है तो फिर आप आई करा लीजिए यदि आई करा के लगता है कि आप इन्फेक्ट हुए हो तो बच्चे में है कि नहीं कैसे पता करेंगे बच्चे के अंदर हाँ। पर पुराना पास्ट हिस्ट्री में टॉस्ट टेस्ट कराने का कोई मतलब है कोई मतलब दिस इज द मैसेज आई वांट टू गिव थ्रू दिस वीडियो टू दिस यंग गर्ल एंड टू द सोसाइटी दैट टॉर्च टेस्ट को बहुत ज़्यादा तवज्जो मत दीजिए टॉर्च टेस्ट के रिजल्ट को भी बहुत तवज्जो मत दीजिए यदि आपको टॉर्च सस्पेशन है टॉर्च इन्फेक्शन का तो उसको पक्का करने के लिए बच्चे में है कि नहीं यदि आईजीएम पॉजिटिव है तो आईजीजी करके भी लोग ये देखते हैं कि आईजीजी जो इन्फेक्शन हुआ है ये अभी रिसेंटली तो नहीं हुआ तो उसका एक एविडिटी टेस्ट होता है एविडिटी टेस्ट यदि लो हुआ तो बोल सकते कि थोड़े दिन पहले इन्फेक्शन हुआ था यदि एविडिटी टेस्ट बहुत हाई हुआ तो इन्फेक्शन बहुत पुराना है पर ये भी बहुत ज़्यादा कराने की ज़रूरत नहीं है सुनने और जोड़ने के लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक यू